Right, well, hello, everybody. So we're going to have a look at a mass level two non-calculator paper today, or in this video. So I've just got it set up for you. So hopefully you can see that now. I'm just going to make sure that that's all done. We've got on the share. You can see it's superb. Right. So for those who are doing reformed functional skills, you will have to paper with this non-calculator. This particular example gives 25 minutes. We don't have lots of these available at the moment because simply if due to the C19 issue and tests have not been going forward. However, the repository that we do have hopefully can be of use. So main purpose of this is really, I'm just going to talk you through, give you guidance. Any further, more detailed information, please let me know, and then I can talk through with you. I will say to you that you do need to, for your non-calculator papers, get yourself a favor long division long multiplication. They will be your friends, okay? Especially when you're dealing with decimal points and so on and so forth. If you're not sure about those, need some extra guidance, please let me know. I can help you out with that. But I also do have support videos up as well, which uh, you're free to use. There are exercises. I also have additional exercise sheets I can send through to you. So practice makes perfect, quite literally. Okay. So the format will be, I will show you the question. Don't forget also with Zoom, you can download the videos onto your laptop or portable device. You can play it back at your leisure. I'm going to put the question up. You put yourself in pause. And then once you're ready to go, you press play again and then we will have a brief go through the answer, okay? So, there's question one. Have a try, read through, have a go, put yourself in pause, and once you're ready, press play, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I hope you've got no typos in here. So essentially what we're looking at is, you know, this one, you need to add the ratios up, divide by the amount of liquid, one part comes out of this, two parts blue paint are needed, um, 250 times two, which is 500, or 250 plus 250, which is 500 mil as well. For those of you not necessarily confident necessarily with doing a multiplication, sometimes it's just as easy to add the numbers up. It's communicative, communicative as they call it, okay? Um, subtraction isn't, but addition, multiplication, it was, you're going to get the same result, essentially, however you put the order of the sum, okay? So there we go. That's that one. So our next question is going to be some information about the true number of houses sold by 20 salespeople. So I'm going to put yourself in pause, have a look, and we need to go press play and I'll bring the answers. Right, so remember keywords estimating, okay? And I must admit, I had to look at this question a few times before I originally grasped it. So again, this is partly why we do this, because hopefully that gives you a little bit of an edge and a little bit more of a comfort blanket to help understand what we're talking about because a lot of these questions is all in the wording. So what I've done is I've gone for the middle number here, which is what we need to again put yourself in pause, read through this. Um, I then times up with the frequency, we get 170. Um, work out our frequency here, which is then going to give us um the part we need for our final sum, which is actually going to be how we break everything down. And then we divide that by a point by that, which then is going to give us our answer, which is 8.5. Okay. So 20 into 170, which is our frequency. Break that down using long division. You can see how that comes out here. And that's going to give us our mean average here, or the middle number, which is going to be 8.5. Okay. Sorry, mean number. Sorry, I stand correct. So we find the average and it's 8.5. So again, if you'd like to let me know, we'll go through that one because that's a little bit of a tricky one, but I haven't got a huge amount of time to go into detail here. But I can break it down to the subject later on. So I'm looking at you for this one now. Okay. Mobile phone contracts. We all wonder if the expert at mobile phone contracts. I'm sorry, I just have a pay as you go. That's how I do my phones. Um, but for some of you, they like to have security of contracts. Have a look at this one here. This is what I call more of a typical functional skills question. This is actually quite is a typical functional skills question because it's making you think a lot more about problems. But this one is what I call the typical things, what functional skills are designed for. Ideally, it's skills you can need in real life. That was the original idea. So have a go, put yourself in pause and rejoin when you're ready. And we have the breakdown there in front of us. Okay, so essentially, I'll let you look through, put yourself in pause, look how I've put the calculations together. Essentially, it's going to be breaking down everything. Okay. And again, what you need to make sure is that you are actually demonstrating calculations or your processes as you're going through. This is vitally important because if you just put the answer, you're not going to get full marks. 
you might get this question here. Say it was four marks, here's four marks. You might just get one. But by putting the calculations down, you're going to get the full range of marks because there's certain things the examiner are looking for you, certain key points. And again, what is also quite important, if you're actually showing a solid process going through, then you can still pick up points for that, even if your answer is slightly wrong at the end. So keep that in your mind. So our next question, OK, volume. I do have questions or a sheet regarding volume, OK, which you do need to have a look at. These, again, typical atypical functional skills questions get you to break things down a little bit more. So put yourself in pause, have a try at least. And then once you're ready, press play and I'll come back to you. Right. This is how it breaks down. You might just want to look at this. OK, and I do go beneath the page. OK, so it's a step change. So you've got to work out 30 and 30. Remember volume, we've got to time things literally by three cubed so we're timesing our uh, length width and height so height and width is how sorry height and length is width sorry is there get words out in a minute then we times the result of that by the length this is why i think about you know getting au fait with your multiplication your log division because you can now see this in practice and why it's actually working okay uh, we then need to break that down to uh what that would be in liters now our answer is there, breaking that down to litres. So again, you can see why we need to have a long division. And then we need to K fine. So we've got um, break it down into gallons. So we can work out what our gallons are and what our conversion rate is. And then um, how are we going to have enough gallons of water for the fish concerned? OK, so what I'm going to do is just put yourself in pause. Look at that first stage that answer a screenshot it. And then I'm going to press or bring this down and you can have a look at that there again. Um, if I can put this on a help topic somewhere, I will do. OK, because it's an atypical functional skills question. But essentially, it's, it's division, multiplication, addition. OK. And there you go. That's that's that paper done. So the really tricky question I would probably say is this is going to be the trickiest one. OK, this is one you're probably not so, not so sure about. But have a look, have a practice at it. Okay, it's not quite as scary as you think. It's breaking the information down um, and putting ultimately into logical format. Okay, so as I say, any questions, queries, please let me know. I can go through these in more depth for you and help explain them a lot better. Okay, it's probably sometimes when we're one to one speaking through. Um, but in the meantime, hope you enjoyed having a look at that paper, and I shall see you on another video soon. Thank you very much for your attention.